kids get ready to head back to school, it's a good time to remind you about making sure they and you are up to date on vaccinations. August is National Immunization Month. Joining us to tell us a little bit more about those, Bethany Boyle, a student from UAMS College of Pharmacy, and Brett Bailey, also with UAMS. Thanks, you guys, for being here. Thank you. So let's start with back to school. If the kids still haven't gotten their back to school shots, where's the best place to go for that? So you can always go to your doctor's office. That's the place that people often think of. But remember, you can go into your local pharmacy as well, wherever you normally get your prescriptions filled. You can get a lot of your shots there while you're just picking up your prescriptions or even picking up your groceries. And we focus a lot on kids and back-to-school immunizations, but adults need to be getting those booster shots as well. Right. So actually there's 50,000 deaths in the United States every year from vaccine-preventable diseases. Mm -hmm. That, that's more than, say, breast cancer, car accidents, HIV AIDS. Yeah. So it's a very drastic issue. And we're doing pretty well with kids in Arkansas, but the adult immunization rates are just really terrible. So what are the vaccines that adults need? So make sure you get your flu shot every year, for sure. Any, anyone needs their flu shot just to prevent you from getting the flu. One other one, one, other one that people will be pushing is your Tdap which includes your tetanus booster and your pertussis, which pertussis is the whooping cough. And as you guys have reported recently, whooping cough is returning quickly, and lots of kids are getting it. So you need to get that not only for yourself, but for your kids as well. What are the different ages where you need to be focused on, hey, maybe it's been 10 years, or I've, I've hit this certain age, I need to go back and get a, a booster shot? Um, there's two numbers you need to remember when we're thinking about vaccinations. The magic number is 50 and 65. At 50, you need to think about getting your shingles vaccine. Um, research has shown when you start getting around that age, shingles is a disease that um, the chickenpox virus reactivates in your body and causes a severe severely painful rash. The shingles vaccine can decrease your likelihood of getting shingles and it can also decrease the pain associated with shingles. Um, at the age of 65, you need to think about getting your pneumonia vaccination. As you age, your body um, it becomes weaker and weaker at fighting off infections such as pneumonia. So at those two ages, you need to talk about um, getting those vaccinations to fight off those two diseases. And we all know there's been some controversy about vaccinations in the last few years. What do you say to people who are apprehensive about getting those vaccinations done? Sure. So the first thing I'd say is that vac vaccinations are, are safe. Uh, most of the side effects are very mild, temporary. Normally it's just an achy arm for a couple days because you got a shot. And one thing I'd really encourage everyone to do is go into your pharmacy, talk to your pharmacist. Uh, they're the most accessible healthcare provider. You can walk into your Kroger, your Walgreens, or any of, any of your favorite pharmacy, walk in and talk to them about what you're worried about. Sure. They can address any concerns you have. Uh, they're there just to make sure that you're healthy and to keep you that way. And so if you have any questions, just let them know. Good, and the, the flu shot, that of course it's that time of year for the mm -hmm. flu shot, that still comes in the two forms, you get the shot or the spray right. now, and so there's there's no reason to not get it, even right. if you don't like exactly. shots. I'm exactly. one of those people. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I know all about that. Thank you guys so much for being Thank here. Thank you so much. Really, really good information. For more information, you can log on to UAMSHealth.com or you can call 501-686-8000.